Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Cold Waters, episode number six. We are up a creek without a paddle, to put it politely. <laughs> we have one torpedo for two submarines, and we have a bunch of merchant ships which we cannot identify which one is the one we want. So let's go up to torpedo depth. Ah, oh, shoot. This is just bizarre. There's no... Okay. Yeah, I think what we want to do is just take out either the Romeo U1 torpedoes versus the Han. Can you just tell me what the Han is? Give me the Han again, whatever she is. U5. So obviously she's more important. She has missiles as well. We want to take out the Han. So this is my priority then, is to take out this ship. Submarine, I should say. And that means the Romeo, which can barely keep up with us, in fact. Yeah. Do we go into the baffles of the Romeo? I don't know. She can still move faster than us. Okay, anyways, let's uh, focus on these merchants. I guess we go up to periscope depth. We can probably elude the torpedo, the the um, Romeo. So I, I I'm 100% sure that our plan now is to use our torpedo against the Han and then hope we can survive against the um, Romeo. Not like my favorite plan in the world, by the way. Okay, can we see you now? What am I looking for? Okay, give me the next merchant. Let me just go back to this one while we can. No, can I just give me this one again? Overseas. Ah! Ah! Is that enough? Is that enough to, to kill them? Is it enough that I see? Oh god. Okay, well, let's see what Sierra 8 is. I never identified a Sierra 7. I don't even know where Sierra's. Oh my god, we just got. I think we got two new ones the moment we came up this depth. Okay, let's see what you are. We, we hear you very clearly. Oh! Okay, well that is clearly a, a thing we can hit. As is Sierra 8. Let's see if there's anything else that could possibly match this profile. Escort. Oh, that's also not good. Ah, could be trawlers. Let's go back to Sierra 7. I think she is also merchant. Yeah. Okay, now I can see you. I think this is what we're supposed to be doing. Ah, uh, you are China. I don't know what I'm doing. You are so, uh, what are you? Oh! Okay, well, you're Chinese. 
How can I tell who's carrying the bad stuff? What the hell? Oh, okay, maybe if they don't match their menu vest. So this is matching its menu vest. Oh, it's not. Is this military? I think this is military. Pretty sure that this is the one we want. By the way, they're all kind of going away from me. Why is that? Did I alert them? So this is Sierra 1. I believe Sierra 1 is a target. You're not, I'm not close enough to be detected. So Sierra 1 has this, it's, it should have, oh, oh god, we actually see the Romeo. Yeah, we definitely see her. We still, she still wouldn't see us. So this should have this, and it does. That's Merchant 2. And Merchant 1 doesn't have what it should have. It has this container instead. So I'm guessing that means... And maybe this is probably a flag I'm supposed to recognize or something. Naval, maybe it means something different. I'm not seeing that flag on anyone else. Oh, come on. Yeah, this is... Reported correctly. Not reported correctly. reported correctly. Wait, is it? It's not reported correctly. It's supposed to have nothing on top of it. Huh? Ah, this is frustrating. I mean, basically if I knew what to look for, which I'm sure it's really easy just to Google search real quick and get the answer. Ah, this is also set up like that. And this one has <laughs> another flag altogether. And she has stuff on it, but she reports that she should have stuff on it. Could I have miscategorized this one or something? I think I just need to sync this one, see, miss, uh, number one. And I'll be happy with that. So this sickle and hammer is good enough for me. Are we able to sync? Any Chinese shipping? Like, is this World War One type standards where it's like, okay, let's, we can do that. I have no idea. <laughs> this is a very confusing mission for me, unfortunately. To be frank. Uh, it's going to be very hard, actually, to avoid getting the wrong one. I'm pretty sure I can get away from this Romeo. It's going to take a lot of torpedo dodging, I'm pretty sure, but I think it can happen eventually. And I'm just going to assume that anyone who's not flying the... It was a Russian ship with a bunch of Chinese ships, I thought, that were trying to help. So I'm, the Chinese ships, I'm just going to let go. It must be the flag I'm supposed to be looking for. Like, what other what other clues could I be looking for? I wish, really wish, you could see your briefing in here. Is there a way to see my briefing? I need, I need, <laughs> I need help. <laughs> Somebody give me my briefing. Is it, what is it? Not you're not allowed to see your briefing <laughs> during the mission. I disagree with this. <laughs> All right, all right, we're gonna do it. We're just gonna sink Merchant One, and we're gonna sink this Han, and then we're gonna go home and hope that we did the right thing. The 
They're like coming right over me. Hope we're deep enough. I think we're deep enough now. I'm coming for you, buddy. Just you wait. I'm coming for you. Just give me some other sign, though. It's got to be this Russian... It's a Russian supply, right? And it doesn't match. But some of the other ones don't match, either. Hopefully your batteries are running out. <laughs> okay. You... You look fine to me. Actually, some of the stuff doesn't match. Yeah, maybe I have the signatures wrong on some of them. I don't know. Am I only supposed... I, I could just sync all the Chinese ones. Like, who cares, right? If I don't... I'm going to do that. I'm just going to sync everything Chinese. I'm sorry if you're flying a Chinese flag and we're at war. Uh, based on what I know from World War II, I'm allowed to sync you. <laughs> And this is a trawler. Okay, so I had those correctly at least. And there's no air. Okay, so all we need to do is get this Han, which we currently probably cannot see just because our angle towards her. And actually, I want to turn hard so I can follow in the wake of this Romeo. Got her. Okay. This is actually really important to me. Below the layer. Actually, let's go below the layer just to pursue her. Um, that's not good. It's really not good. Oh my god, it's another one. <sighs> well, I'll be damned. We're going to have a hard time with this. We just basically need to fire and then leave. We are not going to be able to kill anything, pretty much. So I need to move with the Romeo out of here. I probably still will fire at the Han. Test 71, 125, she's very quiet. 17 knots, okay, 17 knots. Still this Han is the winner at 25 knots. And plus she just looks like the baddest ship. 5500 versus 4000, yeah. She looks like the baddest ship, so we'll go after her. And I think this kilo really legitimately is that far away. We're just going to swim with the other. And no, to pay no attention to us, Mr. Han. We're just another merchant ship. Just a transient on your, on your screen. But I don't know what the depth I ha or distance I have to be away. So these can kill from 8,000. So I need to be 8,000 away from Sierra 1 before we lock on. That's fine with me. Okay, so we'll let them, we'll, this, this is it. We know, we have our game plan now. We're gonna launch at the Han, and then we're also gonna launch at this merchant, and then we're just gonna get the hell out of Dodge, if possible. Probably because now our nose is blocking our own Toter Ray. This is exciting, tell you that much. Turn a little bit more just so we can keep Romeo. I don't really care. I just only am interested in this Han. I have one torpedo, you know, I really have to make it count. Okay. I guess we just have to kill whichever between the Han and the Kilo is closer. Oh, the Han is close. Oh, God. 
the kilo is really close. Ah! 15,000. I guess the Russians don't believe in Tota Ray. Okay, if he was to use active, he would get me. I might go up above the layer and go speed of 10 just to get away. We will, we will be moving closer to the Romeo, and maybe I just end up firing my torpedo at the basically the first person who's close enough to deserve it. Okay, let's drop down. No, 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 sorry. Let's go above the layer. Apologies. And then we're going to go ahead and steam away as fast as possible, which is faster than these guys are going at least. And we're going to hope that the layer separation is enough. It is a strong duct, strong layer, so we're going to hope that that's enough to keep me um, unnoticed by the three submarines for which I only have one torpedo. And I know I've mentioned that several times, but it's quite the highlight here. Let's go up a little bit more. Le depth is at, or the layer is at 104. I would take out the Han directly if she was closer. She's the one who scares me the most. Okay, let's go. Now, who is going to detect me the easiest at this point? Nah, nobody. <laughs> I won't have any idea. Okay, that's fine. All we need to do is keep track of Sierra 1, and we'll be fine. So, let's get our distance. Okay, Sierra 1's coming right towards me. That's not what I want. Literally right at me. Well, one way to get around them, I guess, is just go right through the middle. Are these guys paired, though? Does that mean I should just sink them both? Okay, let's take another look at these ships and make sure I am doing the right thing. This one is definitely not going to die. Sierra 4 is definitely clean. Sierra 6 is Chinese. Could be sunk if we wanted. I think we just sink Sierra 1 and Sierra 2 because, hey, they're buddying up, and you know what? That's not allowed. One is Chinese anyway. I just don't understand what the deal is with the, the rules of engagement, actually. It's naivety on my part. I don't know the rules of engagement. I don't know if it's okay to engage cargo ships of the enemy nation. Is that okay? And also, are they... What's their... What's the depth under that? Yeah, what's the... They don't list the kill distance not really would prefer not to have a collision and they are moving together yeah they, I'm gonna take both of them out I don't really care. You know what? It's Chinese flag. I'm gonna. I just cannot reckon. I, there's no way. It seems very easy to reconcile destroying an enemy ship, be it transport or. I, I mean, civilian. It's supposed to be civilian, right? So in which case, I shouldn't engage it. But they're flying the Chinese flag. All right. So let's head northish, I guess. Get away from them. Alright, okay, uh, do I put in a cut in the video while we try to escape them, or do I just wait for this to happen? I guess we'll just wait. And they are really weird with their patterns.
more suspicious behavior, if you ask me. Prefer not to lose contact on Sierra 1. Yeah, 1 and 2 are going down. We'll wait for one, and then we'll wait for the other. And the good news is, oh, the Han, we really wish we had, she does have missiles. Shoot. She's actually going to be able to fire missiles at us. That's kind of a bummer. Well, we can hope that the missile launches and hits the S4, CR4. <laughs> They're the only two bobbing and weaving like crazy men. Everyone else is on a straight line, which is suspicious, right? So I think you actually are supposed to take out both of them. Maybe this is the, the behavior you're supposed to look for. It's this kind of suspicious behavior. I and mean, this one's definitely not anything we need to worry about. So... Alright, we're far enough away to launch. Certainly are. So, I guess at this point we slow down and start trying to find all the other ships around. Could do that. I prefer more distance, though. With our lives on the line. <laughs> Not from the merchant ships, but from the submarines. Ah, okay, good. If we accomplish this mission, I mean, it's, I, I, I can sense the frustration of people who have played this and already know what to look for, what are the identifying marks. Like, and this is real life, I would probably be privy to these details. So, I mean, that's kind of a bummer that I really didn't know. So... All right, let's go ahead and slow down now. I think this is probably enough. Let's see what happens. This merchant is going what? 10 knots? Damn it. I have to go 10 knots. Okay, well, let's drop below the layer, see if we detect anybody. And if we don't, then we go ahead and launch. Well, we're not getting anything. So I hope that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and, I mean, we're gonna be very hard to detect as well. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. So, not do not need pop-up procedure. Go ahead and launch. And we'll eliminate one at a time. You need to see which one that actually strikes. Looks like it's going to go for the right one, I hope. Just in case it veers off and <laughs> takes the wrong turn. Yeah, it looks good. Looking very good. So 
one's looking good. Okay. Well, we're going to get out, I think. Will it lock? Okay, probably now. There you go. Good. There it is. And we can leave. We got him. We got him. Okay, so it, it worked. Congratulations, job well done. Losing those spots before the yes. Holy cow! What an amazing, amazing. Okay, yeah. Complained about. Oh, I thought they were gonna complain about <laughs> friendly <laughs> merchant ships. Chinese supplies sunk. A spokesman for the U.S. naval operation today revealed the enemy resupply convoy had been successfully repelled by a naval blockade of Cameram, Vietnam. The fighting was intense, with numerous vessels sunk. The fighting was intense. I don't really know that there, but. Success of recent naval operations and continues to have a significant and lasting impact on the ground war. Initial suggestions that the role of the Navy in this conflict would be limited at best have proven wrong. Okay, return to Guam, my favorite mission. Get me home. No. No. <laughs> okay, broken fresh breeze. We're at 600 feet, which is going to be a good thing. We have a contact, 265. And valve stations. Actually, not going... 265, 265. Not going um, very fast here is actually a good thing. So we could just leave combat right away. Let's see what you are. One. That one is merchant as well, I believe. Yeah, I believe that this is merchant. This one's slightly off. sure what I want to do here. Let's just swing east a little bit. See if we detect anything. We have one torpedo. I mean, it's okay. I'm fine with fighting one. <laughs> We can actually look at this merchant. Okay, so it can have a big star, but I guess... I don't know which one was the wrong one. I wonder which one was the wrong one. Probably not the one with the Chinese flag. So this this was probably... An, uh, maybe this is one we can actually sink then. I don't know. Okay, but if there's nobody nearby, let's just leave combat. I'm being undetected. That's fine. Get me out of here. Oh my god, we're going to make it. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I ought to cause this, call this video to a close now. But we're going to make it. We're going to make it. I can't believe it. Whew. Now, I think there is still like events firing off in the background. So there's definitely an incentive to get back to Guam quick. But that is some miracle. I cannot believe we actually made it. Holy cow. What a, what a mission. <laughs> Holy cow. Upon return to port, you are immediately called into the Admiral's office where he congratulates you on your superior leadership and tactics. Four missions accomplished, 11 warships, 8 submarines, 2 merchants, for a total of 21, at 87,000 tonnage sunk. Satellite photos show that an enemy battle group armed to the teeth with cruise missiles is preparing to sail from Ningbo. Intelligence estimates that they will make a conservative patrol in the vicinity of East China Sea. Very shallow. 
Locate this group and sink as many ships as possible. Previous recon indicates this force will contain at least one or two ships armed with anti-ship cruise missiles. Consider these your primary targets. An enemy escort of surface combatants and or attack submarines should be expected. So very potent fleet we're going to be going after here. Um, obviously we need to do some repairs and before anything I need to repair my damn propulsion. So that's going to do this. Hull is back up to 100%. Next thing we need to do is load a lot of weapons. Now, I need to load some moss. I want to load... You know what? Hell, let's load five. And then I would like to load more um, Tomahawk attack missiles. Ship attack, anti-ship ones. Unfortunately, we don't really have time. And frankly, anything that those can do, my torpedoes can do almost as well or sometimes better. So we don't want to spend too much time in port. Maybe I'll just go all... Uh, okay, let's get three of them. It's a lot of time. I don't want to waste any more time. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that <laughs> happened. That's not really good mission then to give me if I'm in port for repairs. A Chinese strike group operating on post in the East China Sea has sunk an undeclosed number of merchant vessels and escorting warships. NATO spokesmen admit this strike group poses a major threat to all shipping in the region and that prior efforts to intercept it had failed. Alright, Wolfpack enemy attack submarines is operating in and around Luzon Strait between Taiwan and the Philippines. I like this one already. Where they've been pursuing anti-ship. Okay, we can do this one. Uh... Just give me this. You know what? I'll take six moss. Okay. Cast off anchors away. Let's go. I think that that's... Time, time, one. Should be right here. But I guess what we'll do is call this episode to a close here because this is the limit of time and we'll have to jump in to catch these submarines in the next episode. So until then... Thanks for watching this exciting chain of events. We're finally rearmed. I feel capable of actually <laughs> defending my ship. Hopefully no more close calls or even damage of any kind. Until the next episode, thanks for watching and take care.